a bit of a walk. <laughs> so what we're doing is Right, Monday the 31st of July, this is today's job, Alex is a second Monday away, so I'm on my own, as you can see I started on the dust sheets and I put this carpet protector down on the stairs because I can't afford to trip up on the stairs so uh, dust sheets on the stairs isn't recommended. So this is the room, it's a bit of a walk. <laughs> so what we're doing is, we're bricking this up. So this is an old external wall, so mirror's staying, we're just gonna block it up with breeze blocks. And we're gonna cut a wall, sorry, cut a door out here, single door, so new lintels, concrete lintels, cut down and get rid. <clears throat> Customers uh, bringing the car around, so we're going to put the block straight in the car. There's not a lot of stuff to come out, so there's no point in paying £170 for a skip. So um, there's another bit, bit of the old external wall. So I'll show you the other side. So this is the room we're coming into. So this, it's going to come hard into this corner, but I'm going to leave it a little nib so we can, James, who's doing the rest of the job, putting a, can put an architrave around it. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, James put a bit of an arc on this corner. I think it's a 840 door. I'll check with James on that one. But yeah, this is the side, so I'll probably try and take all the stuff out the other way because this room's quite clean, that, whereas that room's getting refurbished. So um, it's a bit of, bit of a further walk, but we'll keep trying to keep the mess in one room. But uh, at the moment, all the carpet protectors down for me, going up and down. The, um, all the dust sheets are down, as you can see, it's a bit of a walk for the old fellow with a bit dodgy hit. <laughs> but today's the Monday, I've got my pre-op in two days, so by the time you see this I might have had a new hip. So yeah, that's the plan, I'm going to carry on getting these dust sheets down, get this door marked up and then start making a mess on the other side. So I'll catch you when we're all sorted. Sheets are done, ready to go. All the way down there. And then Cusps County parked his Range Rover outside to put the blocks in. There we are, we're completely covered. I might just put a couple of sheets over here just to stop any dust going on the banisters and stuff. But I'm trying my best to keep all the dust on the other side of this wall. So, it's time to get the tools and the radio up here and get started.
radio's up, tools are up, electric's up, everything's up, even the blocks and the lintels. I've got the other lintel on the other side of the wall. 1200 That's our height. This bed joint, so we're going to take along this bed joint. Slot the lintel in there. Um, I've allowed 90mm reveal for the architrave to go on. Because the arc, um, that gives the when you've got your frame and a bit of arc and then a bit of bit of plaster around the corner. I don't know where that is exactly, but I'd rather go bigger than smaller. But even that, there's a little problem with that, which I'll show you now. Take you around. I think this is the old stone wall, maybe. But on this side, it's only 60 mil. But when you put straight your, your plumb line down, you're down to about. You can just see the line is at the edge of that red line there. So you're talking 25, probably 20 mil at the bottom. So obviously there's no architrave going on there. So I think we need to come over at least 50 or 60 mil with the whole thing to get a nice straight architrave in the corner. Because it'll look a bit rubbish with an architrave on the left and the top and nothing in the corner. And then obviously uh, the walls won't keep up if you take it over far enough. You can get a nice straight architrave in the corner and make it look a lot tidier. So the plan now is go downstairs, find the customer and just check with him. He did run it over that foot as far as possible, but you've got to weigh that up against how it looks as well. So I'll see what he thinks about that and we'll get that right. Great time's over. This is our new reference point. You look at the, uh, the line with the arrow on it. You can see we're probably 90mm there. But as we come down, I think I measured 60 mil at the bottom there. So the level. There you go. So if I pull that to plumb. There you go. So it's probably 25 mil in, in 1200 millimeters. So that wall probably 60, 70 mil out of plumb. This one. I'm not sure what this one is. This one isn't bad, but this one's a modern wall. I think that's the original external wall of the house. So I want to get the drill up, find the socket over there and get this drilled out. So uh, catch you then. I'm finally ready to start making a mess. Here we go. <laughs> That's our line. Uh, spoke to my mate Neil. He's uh, told me 33 inches for the door opening. And uh, I've measured a couple of door, door openings and it's six or six, it's bigger. It's six or six doors, so the opening is bigger to allow for you the head of your casing.
just gone 12. It's taking longer than normal because I'm not just blitzing it. I'm trying to keep the dust down as much as I possibly can. So I've been using, this, using the, uh, the hoover with the sawzall and the drill. So you've got to be careful with the uh, sawzall. <laughs> That's just my own stupid fault. Nothing, no harm done, just 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 squashed it. So um, that's what we're up to now. The blocks are held themselves up, there's only two and a half blocks. They're solid up there. It's a solid wall next to it, solid brick wall. So we're not gonna try, try and pocket into that because bashing that around is gonna loosen everything around it. So I've put a screw in tie for this one here and I've put a screw in tie there. So those top two are gonna be tied in with the screw ties. And the lintel is going to be chopped down from 1200 to 1550. So we're knocking 50, 50 mil off it. So I've got to take the damn things back downstairs now. <laughs> yeah, the dust isn't too bad. You're using the Hoover, there's no airborne dust around. So the, um, my plan now is get, I'm going to get this bit tidied up, get the lintels cut, set the mixer up, have a bit of dinner, and then after dinner, get a mix on. So you can see where I've drilled out the, it was about to there, so I've just took a bit extra for toothing in, just a bit of extra strength, it's a bit, almost a straight joint, so when you sit in the lintel and I just give it a bit extra, a bit of extra key, plenty of blocks to use, and we've got, obviously we've got the fiber lights for there, it's great, it's doing really well. And just as long as you're careful, you can just hold the hoover underneath it to get the bulk of the dust. Because it doesn't throw a lot of dust out anyway, obviously. You couldn't use a grinder inside like this. That's the only thing you can use inside. You couldn't use a grinder with water suppression because we're upstairs on the timber floor. So that's out of the question. So that thing comes into its own. The other, stay, the other option of not doing that is drilling, stitch drilling. But again, probably makes less dust than the stitch drilling. So um, yeah. Getting a mix in, a very small mix, and I'm going to go for getting the block work done on the window, which is loaded out, and getting the first lintel in. And then if I see how I get on, I can't get the second lintel in today, and then leave tomorrow just for taking the actual block work out of the doorway. So um, busy afternoon in store, but hopefully we'll, def we'll definitely get the block work done and definitely lintel. We'll see how I get on with the rest of it. So let's get this mix in and get back out of this rain. Mix done. Only a third of a mix. Should do us. So let's get that in the bucket and get it upstairs.
Okay. Quarter three update. So Clyde's on 15 more minutes. I've got my mixer and everything for this block work, but I thought I'd get the lintel done first, so that lintel's finished. That just needs cutting out now. And the other skin lintel putting in. So rest the rest of the afternoon is concentrating on this, getting this in, and then tomorrow it'll be the lintel and the brick down. So I'll get cracking on this and pull my finger out, I shouldn't be going on too late. All blocked up, screw ties halfway up. This has got two screw ties in it, so everything's nice and stable. It's got that tie wire in there too, just about in the cavity. Obviously, these are coming out when this side comes out. So, all the time consuming bits done now. This the door's been set out three times, that took a while getting all the um, dust sheets down and the stairs protected took a lot until break time so it did take a long time to get going and I'm on my own so it's a lot of walking uh, in fact let's see how many steps I've done today steps there you go I've walked 3.3 miles today <laughs> I've climbed the equivalent to 16 floors <laughs> Bloody hell, 16 floors, up and down the stairs. So, I've probably spent as much time walking up and down as I'm actually working. Oh, I'm going to leave all the tools here tonight. Because this isn't, obviously not, this room isn't moves, used, so... Let's leave everything here. Ready for the morning. And then, in the morning, it's... Cut, chop out, lintel in, and then whoosh, straight down with the trusty saws all. And then away with the stuff into the car downstairs so as we're all organized and marked out and everything it's going to be a lot quicker tomorrow I'll tell you what that link is not car level but it's bang on it's because the block works so far out above it I'm just going to work my way down the stairs now, tidy up as I go, move the dust sheets for tomorrow, till tomorrow, so um, I'll catch you tomorrow.
There you go, ten past eight. Christian reminded me to pick up my helmet that I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's yesterday's job. Ooh. So, we're all set up. Chop this straight down. A couple of holes to mark out the other side. Same again, chop it all out. Back of a lintel in like that. Chop the good one. So I'm gonna set you up. And get this cut, cut out first. And then we can clear this room completely. Just leave a dust sheet down this side. Before we do that side. I might even just nail one up this side. Stop everything blowing through. So yeah, let's crack on. Right, here we go. Skin one down and out. The block weight was above the floor level there, so I took it all out. Just gonna need a couple of James is doing the joinery. Just put a couple of noggins in there. There's no point putting block weight back in there, it's better than noggins in. Because obviously the floor the floor's gonna have to carry on through there. So we can fettle that. Don't know what this thing is, it's weird. Massive cavity tray. But um, who knows? So yeah. That's it, 33 inches wide, 8 inches tall, so it's, it's like oversized, so the frame can be fitted and then plastered up to it. We don't want them having to hack bits out to get the frames in. So I'm going to get the long drill bit, drill in that top corner and that top corner. That'll give me all my reference points then. It'll give me the width of the door, it'll give me the height of the lintel, and I can work everything out off that. Just have to make sure I drill through straight. So I'm going to get the upper pup, get these two drills, hold, get these two holes drilled and then clear all this most of it downstairs the rest of it into the room next door because i don't need my tools in here now and if i do need tools there'll be a door opening here soon so yeah let's get cleaned up
Jesus, what a difference the day makes. Bloody hell. Obviously that side was saws all straight down, metal straight in. Whereas this side is the old external. So it's freaking rendered. So the blade we're using is a cut-off blade. It's a knackered one, but I've cut the the teeth the non-teeth off it, so it's just teeth left, so it's 100 mil so it won't go through that. Plus, I don't want to use a new blade on sand cement because that's at least three to one and it just do the blading in one day. So what I'm having to do is knock the plaster off, the dry lining, the, the dry lining, and then knock the render off and then do my cuts. So it's exactly the same as yesterday, but taking apps twice as long. And it's a bit dusty. That's what my face is like. Uh, should have got my hat on really yeah so I'm going to get all this crap cleared so I've got somewhere to work and then once this is all out I'll crack on and get the rest out probably do a mix while I'm downstairs and get that lintel in as well which is there so um, I don't really want to be bashing the wall below the lintel once the lintel's in then that block work's going nowhere. That block work was fine. This stuff's fine as well because it's got the render over it, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So let's get all this crap gone. The uh, the car's filling up quickly now because this is all extra. That side came off. The plaster came off with the blocks, whereas this is like twice as much. <sighs> That's what happens when you make arrangements for an early dart. I'm supposed to go looking at two jobs after here, so they're getting cancelled. <laughs> Uh, let's get this mess cleared up. That was all. dinner over. It's always a struggle getting going after dinner. Oh god, waiting for my tablets to kick in. So, a little more tidying up to do yet and that to get in. That's actually quite easy that bit. It's the tidying up that's knackering me out. I think the car's full now so I'm going to start piling outside. Which is a pain but that's it. So, um, I'll time lapse a bit of this tidying up and get stuck in.
right. Clive's just finished, that was three. Bloody hell. I thought it'd be my second job after this by now. It's been tough going. Hot weather, hot warm work. So there we go. It's like a hand grenade job this side. So disappointed I couldn't do it neater than that. But um, look at the thickness of this. Render, big dot and dab, plasterboard. Maybe 50 mil thick. Obviously the render's rock hard, so I can't get the uh, the saw blade through that. It's like softish mortar, all right, but um, not three to one render. So we're done. Lintels have been all pointed up. That's a solid job now. Now all I've got to do is clear all this mess up. The majority of the stuff's down. <clears throat> So it's probably another three bagfuls of stuff, get all the dushes packed up and give it a good brush. Right, after a big old long clean up, bear with, not very fast up the stairs. I'm gonna check see if the one is keeping down or not. Like I said, there's other trades coming now. So, here we are. This side was tough. This side was easy. Two tough days that. When you're not firing on all cylinders, it's hard work. But it's done now. As you can see, there's plenty of room this side, probably a good 100 mil. This side, not much at the bottom. So we made sure we lied for our trade. And as I say there, you can see steels below the um, James can put noggins in there, which is better underneath the floor than me putting block work in. And that was a cavity tray. Big cavity tray, because this is the old side of the building. It looks like the roof lines like that. Dredge my when it's put the bell cast off, which is there. See that? Whew. Yeah, that was hard. Nasty surprise, that. Thought I was cruising for a nice early finish today, but there's Bresson's. So, that's it. I'm going to hand you back to Alex in the house for one of our pre-recorded outros. Because that's Alex's job. So we'll catch you in the next video.
from from the office. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brick Clean with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next one.